video 5.1, Introducing the Modern Era. In the previous module, we explored music of the Romantic Era, a period spanning roughly the years 1825 to 1900. While the turn of the century serves as a tidy historical marker, it doesn't reveal the whole truth. One might ask, were the remnants of Romanticism that lingered on into the 20th century? Conversely, did aspects of Modernism gain a foothold during the twilight years of the 19th century? The answer to both questions is yes. In 1889, the world descended on Paris. More than 32 million visitors from far and wide attended the Exposition Universelle, or World Exposition. They came to experience the sights and sounds, the foods and festivals of cultures from around the globe. While the exposition was part of a celebration of the past, marking the centenary of the French Revolution, it was also a harbinger of the future. Visitors entered the fairground beneath an enormous canopy of iron lattice that served as the base for what was at the time the tallest structure ever built. Today, the Eiffel Tower remains one of the most iconic symbols of any city in the world. Curving elegantly more than a thousand feet upward, it stands as a witness to an exciting moment in history when people came together to explore all that was new, all that was groundbreaking, all that was modern. Music, at the beginning of the modern era, paralleled many new trends that were developing in art and literature. While Impressionist and Expressionist artists developed radical new styles of painting marked by increasing abstraction, composers adopted new scale forms and chord constructions. Claude Debussy was among the millions attending the exposition. The gamelan orchestras from distant Bali, with their shimmering bell-like sound, would feed the young French composer's imagination for years to come. Dissonance was liberated from the tyranny of traditional harmonic practice, which had dictated that it resolve to consonants. Early in the new century, Igor Stravinsky would prove to listeners what a short leap it was from heightened chromaticism to atonality, writing music with no tonal center. If we thought about musical eras in gastronomic terms, the Romantic composers served up a sumptuous musical feast. By contrast, we might say that the modern era, of which we are still a part, has given us a musical buffet, a table laden with many different styles and new genres, such as the symphonic poem, the ballet, and the Broadway musical. In this course, you will experience only a handful of works by modern composers. By the time you get to History 3, you will be ready for further exploration of many other modern composers. After all, that's one of the great things about a buffet. There are so many tempting choices drawing us back to the table.